many of the upcoming ministers today don't have any future with God because the people they see as their mentors because of acquisition, because of affluence, many people they see as their mentors or imitate, which they will be like, are monsters. The devil still have the anointing of God. The anointing the devil has, the, the power the devil has today is God's power. But it's corrupted. Oh, God. Uh. So, so you can see a false prophet or false apostle with a corrupt anointing, corrupt gifts, and you are celebrating it. And you will know you are initiating yourself. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. I bring you special greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. This video is the video I promised I was going to bring to you. The interview that was done by Ashabe TV. I hope I am calling the name well. With uh, witness, Ken Paul Obieke. I brought part of the, the interview last time when I spoke about um, some ministers endorsing criminals using the word of Apostle Arome Osai. Now, the truth here is that uh, I'm not going to say much in this video, but I'd like you to wait by and listen. Now, he's going to tell you a series, series of things. And why I don't have much to say is that everything he said here is uh, probably there are things that we have been saying. So, um, many of you know Witness Ken Paul Obieke. Uh, so many of his books and revelations. And um, when you hear a man that is convinced of what he's doing and what he's saying, you would know. So here, let me just tell you what is, is contained here about the pastor that was sacrificed by his fellow pastor who escaped destruction just by the whiskers as the Lord showed mercy. I will leave the rest of these things for you to watch. And... If you're a defender of falsehood, there is also an advice for you in this video. Ken Paul has everything that um, I probably would have said. So I would rather say, don't be too eager to defend. You see, it is, it is a nice thing to defend people. Now, as people bash me up and down and down and up, when I see people trying to speak up for me, I do like it. I, I like it, you see. It gives some kind of, um, it is a way of giving support. But don't overdo it. Don't give your life for it. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. daughter can start church today as long as you can look at a woman and say see you are wearing red pants hmm. once the purpose of the church okay. is no more conforming people i will tell you one story okay sir hmm. <laughs> once the purpose of the church is not conforming people into the image of christ it is no more the church of jesus christ it's a church of satan hmm. because god deals with purpose Without purpose, the glory of God is gone. Hmm? A pastor, yes, sir. I shared the testimony yesterday hmm. in the internet. He has been trying to reach me for a long time. I don't know him before from Adam. Hmm. A pastor? Yes, a pastor. He's stranded, he's confused, he's almost giving up. Hmm. He had a friend, he had a friend pastor who wanted to use him for sacrifice? Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. A friend, Pastor? His own oh, friend. Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ. Ha! Huh. Huh. <laughs> Kai. He never knew. Ha! Huh. A, a pastor, his own friend. So, this guy visited him and caught the armpit of his suit. That is where the sweat is. Yes. Oh my Lord, Jesus Christ. If I tell you the meaning of that spiritually, <laughs> we'll close this interview. This video has everything for you who are a defender of some persons you don't even know. You come at us and attack every other person. You see, my joy and gladness is that this man 
is not a young man. He is a pastor. He is not, he is not um, somebody you can say probably that is jealous. He is hungry and he is looking for food like so many of you have branded me that I don't have business and that is why I am doing what I'm doing. Well, I do not have any answer for you. All I am saying is, when after you have listened to this, then you may have a rethink. Remember, I don't ask people to stop going to church. But all I am saying is, going to church, why are you going to church? You're going to church because you are desperately in need of a miracle. Now, there is a video I will bring here that may shock all of you. It is not something that was done outside. Something that will be a kind of an eye-opener to those whose eyes are blinded and they know that they need to see. So brothers and sisters, this video is for you not to fall victims to altars of darkness. Where, when you please watch this video to the end, you would understand what I am saying. You will see where a beast is referring to a supposed man of God as a servant, referring to a servant of God as his own servant. Then you will understand what we are saying. I know some persons would still castigate it, but it is what it is. God bless you. Please like this video, share this video, Give us your subscription if you have not subscribed. Get engaged. You know, do something. Just like the video, please. And God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, shalom. <laughs> but watch this. He took it away. Ah. And went and did what he did with it. And so this man's life went down. Oh, Death was haunting him hey. from one accident to the other, from one from one terrible thing to the other. Sometimes he will die. After that, he will wake up again. There's nothing he has not gone through from 2009 huh. to date until a few days ago that he connected me by phone. He has been trying to reach me for a long time. Even this, my boy, has been disturbing him. I don't know him. All manner of accidents because he, he has he has been sacrificed. Oh, yeah. oh. He is the sacrifice on the altar of this guy to blow. Hey, Jesus. Oh. So they were hunting for him, his life through sickness, every manner of thing. Misfortune. Every, uh, misfortune is either uh, is he, uh, this January, he, he, this January, he was st st standing like this. Let him take step. He fell and break his waist. Ah. Oh, ah. Yeah. one accident. He said he, how he survived. He cannot be able to explain it. Just like that. Jesus Christ. So this few days ago, he he called me. He has been calling. And, and one thing I found out. Let me confess to you. Many people call me and complain that 10 years, 5 years, they have not been able to get me or one thing or the other. Yes, they are inviting me, yes, this sir. and that. You know how many years it yes. has taken us to yes, get sir. this done? Yeah. 3 years, sir. Why, I, why I, I, I love what you are doing, but I don't do anything until the Holy Spirit says, it's time. Mm. Do it. Mm. Oh God. So, mm. this guy, mm. I picked this call. The Lord said, pick. I picked the call. And he began to speak. We ended up talking for about three hours. Three hours. <laughs> his, mm. his story need a book. Oh. And I know he will still write a book. He need people it. need to intervene. People need, yeah, yeah, possibly. I would like to intervene. Possibly, possibly. He need to share this testimony. But I'm telling He's you. Terror striking story. Oh up. my God. So when we finished, he was almost at the point of giving up. Hmm. And thank God I picked that call. And then spoke at length with him and made him understand that the end of that has come. You see, now I prayed with him. That day that I prayed uh, for him, that night, <laughs> it's a long story. I sent it, I sent it to him. 
Maybe he will send it to you. It's a long story what he saw, what happened. Uh. Then yesterday, uh. again, he said he found himself in a place. But meanwhile, so many of those things happening to him disappeared. He said it will be as if they put the noise in his ears. Will be as if his head want to blow. They want him to die. He's wasting their time. He's an altar on it's a, a sacrifice on, 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 on the altar. And, and that's how many how many Christians do you see in the churches don't know their sacrifice on altar of these evil pastors. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I am not asking you, I'm telling you. Ah. Oh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Huh? Roaming about aimlessly. Online, this and that. You oh. join prayer meeting. You join this. You join that. Without the leading of the Holy Spirit, you have you have sold your soul. Mm. <laughs> so he said yesterday night. He, he 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 you know he found himself. Uh, in the, this one, this time is in a dream. He found himself walking, and a, a BMW drove and uh, crossed by and. Uh, the, the person wanted to splash him with mud water and the hand drew him away. He said he didn't know where that hand came from and just drew him away. If that mud water had touched him, it's a different story that I don't have time to talk about. But the hand took him and the thing didn't touch him. The driver parked and came out furiously as if he wanted to swallow him as in, why didn't this thing touch you? What rescued you? Oh, only for it to be this is friend that I use him to blow. Yeah. Ah, yesterday, just yesterday, just yesterday. Now look at look at the, the main thing. At the other side, his friend came out from the driver's side. At the other side, front seat, a monster came out like a pig. A monster came out like <laughs> a pig. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Mary. and was calling him. That he should come and he said he's not going to come huh? he says he should come he said why should he come he said listen my servant is calling you he's referring the, to the that pastor that don't blow as his servant, servant. Ah. a beast a beast calling a man of god his yes. servant jesus christ are you to what's a welcome ah this so when I finished hearing some part of his testimony in the internet yesterday, oh, I sent him what I shared in the in the uh, I shared uh, I, I had a message you know with which I shared that, mm. and uh, ah. when he opened his WhatsApp, he saw where I was talking about evil altars, stroke, uh, you know, evil. Uh, Pulpits, because people don't know that pulpits are altar. Mm. The same church pulpit you are saying, they don't people people they don't, don't they can't differentiate. They, it. they don't understand. They don't know understand spiritual things, and they don't know that the altar you bow to, the pulpit you sit under, rules over you. Mm. It's a very deep one, sir. <laughs> this is why you will see these people defending. The atrocities of their pastors. We've had thousands of them today. Yeah. A man of God is traveling with men, with police, and he killed seven men. He was hiding with his family inside a bulletproof car. And it was a very horrible, terrible situation. And he was coming out to tell us that, oh, I knew those who wanted to assassinate me, but I know go talk. Uh, but you cannot kill me. I'm a child of God. And you put all these policemen inside the bus. And Every of the members are still defending him. This same man of God has been sleeping around with girls in the, in the industry, in the Nollywood, even up to Ghana, Wood and everywhere in Ghana, up to London. All of the actresses he has slept with, one is even drying now, presently now. This is Alima Abubakar, she's drying, they're kind of everywhere. This man, anybody that analyzes him, he used police to harass, he used court case to, 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 to harass, to intimidate, bring our YouTube channels down because they analyze his atrocities and they try to castigate or try to rebook or try to correct him and you see him boasting every time he sick the more the crisis the more he organized crusades from nigeria to kenya to south africa and he will tell you i go come for you i go come for you you i go and he talks garrulously i wonder why thousands of his omega fosters uh, ministers are still hailing and say his papa is papa people are dying i mean and he comes to defend why things must happen. Even his mate came out, his own boys, who that worked with him and said, This is what he's doing with girls in the church, in the choir. 
in the assembly everywhere. Dirty altar, dirty past. And it still comes out to tell you that nothing you should do. You see, one thing I want everybody to know is this. Sure. Jesus told me that everybody will end with whoever you are following. Everybody will end with whoever you are following. Hmm. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Hmm. If you are following somebody you don't know who is following, or who doesn't show the character of Jesus Christ, you're on your own, and anything can happen to you. Hmm. Jesus spoke about the blind followers of the blind, and there's something, the point I want to make. The point is this. Many of the people you see defending people that you look at, you don't have any trace of Christ, you don't have any trace of God in them, but you see them defending them and ready to die for them are not normal. Mm. They are on that spell. Oga, mm. mm. they, they are not. They are not themselves. They are not in charge of their medulla oblongata. No, 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 no. They are drinking from polluted water. I don't want, I don't judge any minister. And I will never. I don't condemn any minister. And I will never. But you see, the atrocities of monsters who claim to be ministers must be an issue to trash. Because Jesus said, by their fruits, you shall know them. Jesus didn't say you cover them. He said, by their fruits, you shall know them. If anybody looks at a person, do you, do you, you see, you see, let me say this. The word of the Lord said, we should test or try all spirits. Yes, sir. Why? Because there is a lot of camouflage. Do you know that some of the ministers, some of the people you think they are doing good to people, give you bags of rice? Yes, sir. Give you money? Do you know there are, some of them are exchanged, that some of them are not genuine? Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. What they are collecting from you... This one is even operating a free restaurant. Mm. Uh -huh. People should come and be eating free, that they can eat in the afternoon, in the, mo in the, in the afternoon. Now, in the if morning. such, if, you see, you see, the point I want to raise now that is very important to any listener that is genuine, is that it is a top risk for you to be doing anything with anybody now that you don't know the spirit operating in the person. The first thing you must do, the first thing you must do is to find out from the Holy Spirit who is this person. No, no man by the flesh. Anybody you see today in this end time that is online, that is going to church, that is doing papa, doing mama, you, that you have not been able by the Holy Spirit to know the person, mm -hmm. you, that person will end like an accident. Hmm. I, want to, I want to say it and I want to give it as an advice to anybody that is a true child of God who is yet to understand the time we are in. Hmm. The time we are in. Hmm. Because to start with, anything, anything you do without the Holy Spirit is not acceptable by God to start with. Hmm. So for you to allow somebody to pray for you, go to church, donate money, uh, call Papa, call Mama, defend. What of tomorrow? What you are defending is wrong. Are you not an accomplice? Oh God. Uh, Do you know you have stained your hand with, with what you don't know? So you don't in this end time interact with any minister or church that you have not taking time out to know by the Holy Spirit who this person is. If you are still doing it, stop today if you are a true child of God. Find out which, which spirit, because there are spirits. And Satan today will not come out and tell you, oh, I'm Satan. Satan doesn't have horn anymore, doesn't have tail. He will appear the way he will appeal to you. And now look at another danger hmm. that I want us to, 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 uh, to get and get it very clearly. Very important, sir.